Hello, what is up guys? It's Josh here, and today we're going to be watching some of the Nintendo Direct, of course, as um, I want to record some of my live reactions to this stuff. I've already heard a few things, a couple things, but um, yeah, let's get into it before this starts. So I'm going to just face towards the camera, and uh, yeah, here we go. Hope you guys do enjoy. If you do, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And, um, okay. In fact, let me go get my Mario Tanuki hat. Let's get into it. Yeah. Alright. Let's get into it. I still need to play this game. I feel so bad about not playing it. I'm not going to lie. I've been wanting to play it for like a couple years now. Okay. I already know some of this I don't understand because I haven't played it. So he's looking around for Pyra. Alright, this makes sense. In a, in a sense, it actually kind of makes sense, but also doesn't. So, is there a sequel coming out or something? Is there another game coming out? That'd actually be pretty cool. But then I really need to get caught up really fast. This is where you were. Myra! Sorry, Rex. I couldn't tell you. Because... I got an invitation to join the cast! Oh my... Yeah, this sucks. <laughs> Sorry. For everyone who's mad at me for saying that. And are they about to give me an ad? Oh. Okay. She looks fun to play, though, I will say. That's actually, that's sick. Now that's sick. Oh my gosh. That that's sick and this is some sick animation, I'm not gonna lie. Talk about a tight spot. She's dead. Let me handle this. Oh no. Oh no. Is Mythra the final smash or is it actually like two different characters in one? Okay, that's kinda cool. So she's basically Pyra, but better, I guess. Yeah, it's yeah, it's definitely say better because of the foresight. For sure. Yo, this is kind of sick, but also kind of just. Yes. All right. Now. Okay, I can actually respect this now because I I heard about this, but I didn't. Oh, that's kind of, this is kind of messed up. They're oh, because I was about to say, because they're basically saying it as if everyone in, <laughs> in the game got this match except for him. It, oh my, that's actually, okay. So there's two different Final Smashes too. I like how they're. I won't go easy on you. Fighting. Yeah. They're fighters too. 
See, that's kind of cool, but I'm still disappointed about Crash not being here. See, it'll play Chronicles 2. I need to play that game, like I said, but still. Hello, everyone. It's been a while. I'm Shinya Takahashi. It's been a while? What do you mean it's been a while? It's been forever, dude. Last year, we delivered some news from oh, a man. series of Nintendo Direct mini presentations. However, we haven't been able to present a Nintendo Direct yeah. in this style for some time. That's true. That's true. I'm happy to share this Nintendo Direct with you all today. We appreciate your continued support. Yes, sir. Okay. What you just saw was the reveal trailer for the newest fighter in the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game, Hyra and Mithra. They originally appeared in the Xenoblade Chronicles series as Rex's two-in-one ally. Please look forward to seeing their moveset. That's so sick. That is so sick. in March, so we hope you'll stay tuned. March? Oh, yes. Okay, I need to get... Okay. Let's continue. With our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. I heard about uh one other thing that's in the direct too. I'm not gonna Yes! Yes! Oh my freaking gosh, thank god, bro. I can't explain how hype I am right now. I've been waiting for this for a while. You guys don't understand. Thank God, bro. Yes. I am going to be doing some first impressions on the channel for sure. No doubt. I got to get it. Oh my gosh, it's in the summer. Well, better late than never. Better late than never. So I'll take it. I'll take it. What? I have what? What? Did you guys hear that though? 22 minutes. After that, the sun will explode and the solar system will be annihilated. Wait a minute. That's messed up. However, everything will reset, allowing you to continue exploring while retaining information you gather. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. It's gonna be one of those things like you have this much time to live. You'll gradually unravel the mysteries hidden in the universe. Because I bet you there's a way to stop it, too. What messages will you discover? How can you prevent the sun from exploding? That's what I'm saying. Like, there's probably a way to prevent the sun from exploding. There's probably a way to cause the sun to explode faster. There's probably some other stuff, too. When the critically acclaimed Outer Wilds launches on Nintendo Switch Summer 2021. That's interesting. But, like... Put your sleuthing skills to the test in two classic murder mystery games. Murder? Huh, okay. Right. Famicom Detective Club, The Missing Heir, and Famicom Detective Club, The Girl Who Stands Behind. Oh, two deep okay. Two from Nintendo history are coming to North America for the first time. Oh, wow. That's actually really cool. In English and Yo. Nintendo Switch system. Suspense, drama, and twists and turns await at every corner. Okay. You'll be on the edge of your seat as you dive into these deep narratives set in Japan. In one game. You'll solve a complex murder case surrounding a wealthy family in a haunted village while dealing with amnesia. Okay. That's interesting. But that's not the only case to crack. Oh, wow. So is it like an old game and a new game? Like, combined it together? In the other game, you'll investigate a supernatural rumor after a mysterious death to free students from a sinister nightmare. Hmm. Interrogate okay. suspects and hunt for clues to piece together these chilling conundrums. Can you figure out who the culprit is before it's too late? Um. This is kind of cool, I guess. But this is, of course, if you're into this stuff. I'm kind of like. Uncover the deadly truth in Famicom Detective. This is in May. And Famicom Detective Club, the girl who stands behind. Okay, that's, that's pretty cool, pretty cool. Of course, of course, always, as always, pre-orders begin today. A new age of battles begins. Huh, that's weird, but interesting at the same time. Oh, 
Oh, this looks really cool, actually. Okay. Got her. Okay, just looking at, like, all the people around and stuff, like, it has a Pyro Warriors vibe. I will say. And Samurai Warriors. Not nice, nice. That perfect. Samurai Warriors Five. So this is a series. That's interesting to think about because I've never heard about it. Dive into the history of the Sengoku period as the series now shines the spotlight on Nobunaga Oda and Mitsuhide Akechi. I'm surprised I've never heard about this series if it's like five games in. That's pretty. That's pretty. Electrifying one versus one thousand battles. You know. Good series, you know what I'm saying? Okay, it reminds it looks like it looks like Hyrule Warriors. In a way, in a way. But also, like, how have I not heard about that game? Because it's like a good five installments in. Like Oh, this this game, I've heard about this. Legend of Mana. Is it similar to... Uh, someone let me know in the comments, like, what's this game like? Is it, like, Zelda, or is it... I I'm not sure about it. It seems like it's similar to Zelda. I think it's similar to Zelda, but I'm not sure. I only say it's Zelda, like, I'm similar to Zelda because of how the art style is, and how the, um, the, you know, the name of the game, Legend of Mana. Legend of Zelda just Join makes more sense. Just makes the most sense. My opinion, of course. Or take a break from adventure and rest up at home. Okay. The music has been rearranged for this enhanced version. That looks and decent, the honestly. And the original soundtrack. Other features have been added, including the ability to turn off enemy encounters, as well as the new mini game Ring Ring Land. I would only turn off enemy encounters if it's like really annoying though. June 24th. All right, that's pretty good. I'm honestly getting more and more annoyed about the uh, games coming out in the summer. This is Monster Hunter. There is no doubt in my mind, this is Monster Hunter. Yeah, this is definitely, yeah. Is this, uh, the Monster Hunter Rise that's coming out on Switch soon? I heard there was, like, a demo of it, too. I never played it because I didn't want to. This looks pretty cool. Oh, dang, that looks disgusting. Bro, that looks disgusting. Good lord. Okay. Elder, I have important news. So it's finally beginning. Go assemble the villagers. There's a story to this. Fifty years ago, Kamura Village was attacked by the rampage of Magnum Morrow. Huh. And we suffered some devastating casualties. How can we fight against that? Our hunter is about to face the biggest challenge yet. <laughs> Dang. Some of these monsters look absolutely disgusting. I'm not gonna lie. And then others just look really cool. You know? Like, ooh, can I have that as a pet? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how I feel <laughs> with most of these guys. It's... Oh, dang, that looks... That looks nice, honestly. Till you beat the game. I don't know. Inoa, we should start preparations right away. We're here to offer assistance. Oh. We must stop the calamity. Nice. March twenty sixth. All right. So this is this is very very soon actually, because we're in February right now. And uh, of course, of course, of course, of course, new new stuff. That was the latest new, new Switch versions, Pro Controllers, stuff like that. 
how will our heroes fare against these ferocious monsters? Stay tuned for the latest installment. Like normally spiders get on my nerves, but that spider one looks really March cool. While that one was it like a serpent? Next. It looked disgusting. <laughs> it just looked so weird. Man, yes. Oh yeah. Wait. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Yes. Study the wind and terrain. Take your time to think things through. Then swing. Can we get Mario Strikers again, please? Enjoy golfing with familiar Mushroom Kingdom characters on courses filled with lush natural scenery. Yo, did you guys see Bowser's outfit right there? That looked cl so clean. Oh my gosh, yo. I'm sorry. Just like, what? Sorry if I'm screaming too much, but I'm really getting hype. Just because, like, the outfit looked good. In addition to button controls, you can also use motion controls. Uh, I'm good. See, I'm normally decent at golf. But like, with the motion, well, I, I'm not good at doing that. Except for maybe, maybe, wait. Why? Yo, that's cool. Ice, Luigi. Oh. That's cool. That's actually really cool. That makes a lot of sense. That that. Did we mention story mode? Nah, I I can care less. I I can care less. And develop your golfing skills while interacting with various Mushroom Kingdom characters. Like I'm gonna be honest, when it comes to the story mode, I can kind of care less. Allocate points to different stats. I'm more here for the overall game. However you'd like. You can also use your me. I've always wanted a story mode in Mario Kart. But June 25th, okay. Uh, okay. Of course, the pre-orders after the presentation. We get it. May I just say, though, Mario Tennis Aces, the story mode, it's not bad. It's just not that good. It's just not what I expected, exactly. It's, or it's ex because it's exactly what I expected, actually. Let's move on. Because it's like, um, you know, just little challenges that you have to complete. That annoys me. You know? But anyways. Oh, I think I knocked my camera off. Yeah, I did. Okay. Oh, so it's like a sequel slash prequel type of deal. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay. Hmm, this looks pretty fun, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, dang, those are some missiles from that shit. Ghost and Goblins, yeah. Ooh, Street Fighter. Looking nice. Okay. As a zombie, you just can't get enough of them. Um, this action game from Aspire. You'll build your zombie horde and take revenge on the city by turning humans into your undead allies. Wait. Replenish your bodily arsenal of sputum head, gut grenades, and more during your grisly mission. This city ain't no match for a dead man. Stubs the zombie and rebel without a pulse. Keeps his way onto Nintendo. Oh, that's so sick. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. You get to be the zombie instead of fighting the zombies. That's actually, I actually like that. That's like a Aliens. neat little twist onto a classic gimmick. Aliens have invaded Earth. Hold up. Is this even the right game? Anyway, after annihilating an entire city, the aliens have taken over and now host an intergalactic superhero ranking tournament inside Earth's fate. Here we go. As the crash, he had Joy-Cons on his hand. Assassin Travis Touchdown. 
Let me fight your way to the top to save the world. I I knew this was coming to switch though. Cause like one, I know one of the last directs we got like tips about um we we got we uh got no more heroes I think one and two, and they said three was coming soon I think. Not don't don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's what they were saying. So I knew this was coming. I guess yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> to get some whatever aliens have that you can kick. Yeah. August twenty seventh. Okay. That's that's a while away actually, but it's fine. Exterminate demons in. Heaven. What? This is so below. Where? Why do they need assassins in heaven to do someone's dirty work? I'm so confused. Uh, you shoot them with cards. I had you. You attack enemies with cards. Apparently, that that I guess that's just the new normal. It's kill or be killed. You won't last long if you can't rely on yourself. Wow. Okay. God's judgment has nothing to do with it. That's um. Interesting, I guess. I have no idea what to what to, what to say about that. Uncover heaven's mysteries in neon white, coming to Nintendo Switch, winter 2021. That's just kind of weird. I'm not gonna lie. That's just weird. The DC superhero girl it, are what? here to save the day. Why? Hi everyone. My name is Barbara Gordon, aka Batgirl. I'm always inventing new gadgets to fight crime, like my batarangs and backup. This is Supergirl. She's super strong and has heat vision. Plus super breath. And let's not forget Wonder Woman, an Amazonian warrior who wields the lasso of truth. Along with our friends Green Lantern, Bumblebee, and Zatanna, we fight evil supervillains to keep our city safe. But we're not just about the super life. We also have our school lives. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is just... I I've been quiet for a minute now. But like... I don't know what to say about this. What? It's a cupcake store. Okay. Yeah, but see, when you wear a bat hood, twenty-four-seven. See, see, she says, just so that when, like, you know, just gotta make sure no one. Yes, all these games, but no one figures out your secret identity. But then you wear a bat, a purple bat hood. Why? You're just asking for it. Thank God this game's coming to Switch, though. I'm actually really happy about this. I'm still kind of in shock that there's a, even a DC Superhero Girls game, though. I'm not going to lie. I mean, someone would buy it. Someone. Someone out there would buy it. We all know that. And I'm not even trying to say it's necessarily a bad thing. But, you know. I think we all know what Battle for Neighborville is. If you don't, it's basically Plants vs. Zombies once again. Just a little different in my opinion. I think it's really cool. And I cannot wait to play it. Let me know if you're Team Plants or Team Zombies down in the comments if you're still watching this video. Personally, probably Team Zombie. But I'm not certain on that. I'd have to play as all the characters. Join you in your adventure. And, and wait, I heard about this. Is it Meto? Yes, it's Metopia. All right, I heard about this one. So 
Coming 3DS game to coming to Switch. Me, Topia. They're just dancing. Or even make someone the nefarious Dark Lord. Makeup has been added as a new feature in this game. Glam up your knees and get them ready for adventure. I remember this being a really popular game, but I never personally liked it, actually. Yo, I can be a Super Saiyan. Yes. I can be a freaking Super Saiyan in this. I can change my hair and then the color. Yo, I'm not. I'm actually kind of excited for this now. <laughs> Simply because I can use it. That's a bad reason to be excited for a game. I should be excited for it because of the gameplay. But, you know, you know. I never played this that much, so. Whoa. You can have a horse as an ally? Wait. That sounds pretty barn good. Careful. Pretty barn good, yeah. Man, or... Great puns. Nah, pun, puns, puns are never great, okay? To Bro, it said Dark Lords. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Out of all names, they just said, nah, let's just go with Satan. <laughs> let's just put that on there. Oh, that's so disgusting, but also, like, yeah, it makes sense. But, like, any name, any name out there, but I guess it's, like, the safe one to go with, it, technically. It is the safe one to go with. Wait, where's the Waluigi? Cut? No! No, this is, oh. This is sick. Uh, look at Wario on the back. This is really cool. And wait, 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 wait. You go in the war pipes. You go in the war pipes. And yes, finish the level. Yes. Now that's amazing. Of course, Peach is taking selfies. That makes sense. After downloading it, Super Mario Brothers items will be available via Nook Shopping starting March 1st. Oh, I'm about to I'm about to rack up on some bells in Animal Crossing. Let me tell you guys that right now. All right. <laughs> Yes, sir. I'm about to rack up some bells. We hope you continue enjoying life on your island. All right, that's cool. How was that? These collaboration items will be released as part of the Super Mario Brothers 35th anniversary events. Okay. We'll wait a bit longer for their release. Wait, so Super Mario Bros. 35 Speaking is still going around? Last week. We have the global oh, heck yeah. Mario yes, I've been streaming this. If you guys haven't seen those streams, please check them out. Next, we have another game to show you. To each of their, their own community. Okay, is that Link? That looks like Link. Uh, okay, I'm assuming that's Zelda. It, I have no idea who that is. Is this like the Triforce? Is that supposed to be like a new incarnation of Ganon? Okay, what is this? It looked like maybe a new incarnation of Ganon? No wait, wait, no, 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 hold on. Because I thought... Okay, I'm very confused now. Yeah, I'm very confused now. Everything I was just thinking. What is? Whoa. Okay. May I just say, um, it looks like the game looks like what is it? Uh, o Octopath Traveler. That's what it was. That's what it looks like. Comprised of three nations and limited deposits of salt and iron. The constant feuds among the nations like, over these precious resources eventually ignited into a... I had some interest in Octopath Traveler at first, and then I just stopped wanting to play it. Oh, that artwork looks nice, I will say. But you guys know how it had, like, green fire and it showed Link, and then... Or it showed someone that looked like Link? That's why I thought it was Link, and then... Zelda and whatnot, you know. I feel so stupid now because it doesn't even 
look like a modern Zelda game, at least. In this new tactical RPG, battles take place on terrain with different... I want some more Zelda games, I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> like, the only Zelda game I have on my Switch is uh, Breath of the Wild. I don't have Link's Awakening. You might believe I have. Yeah, I think I have played it, yeah. Um... I know Age of Calamity is a game. I I should have went ahead and gotten it, but I decided not to. Charge into an enemy to send them flying into position for a follow-up attack. Link attacks together by first casting ice. Hey, Link! Link! It said Link! Alright, never mind. It said Link attacks together, I know. But <laughs> it said Link, okay? What if it's still Zelda? It is of the utmost importance to survey All jokes aside. Before taking action. It looks pretty good. Throughout the story, you will be faced with making important decisions in a variety of Okay, situations. once again, it's making different decisions that determine, you know, you what your storyline is going to be like. I like this type of stuff, honestly. Wait. Morality, liberty. Collectively, your decisions what? will establish your conviction, affecting how the story unfolds and who. That was kind of weird. Cause. Okay. More, I would ask you There's voice acting. Wait. Yo. There's actually voice acting for a game like this. That's crazy. That's actually kind of hype for people who are going to play this. I'm probably not going to play it. But, like, that's pretty cool. Significantly change based on how the votes are cast. Huh. So they refuse to relinquish him to us. Lies! His hand was forced! As more and more huh. critical decisions are made, your journey may take you down paths divergent from those... So there's probably going to be, like, ten different endings, bro. I'm telling you. How this is sounding, it sounds like there's gonna be like ten different endings. Triangle strategy, a brand new tactical RPG from Square Enix with launch okay. 2022. Please be on the lookout for more information in the future. After this presentation, a demo version of this game will be available to download on Nintendo eShop. And in the future, we'll conduct a survey to gather player feedback. We look forward to hearing your responses on the demo. Okay, so. Future updates on this brand new oh man, this video is going to be long. Okay, at least an hour. A few more but Nintendo Switch headlines. I'm glad we're getting a lot of Switch news because it's been a while. Calling all hunters. Do you have what it takes? This is interesting. Oh, yup. Okay, it's Star Wars. Because I saw, like, a Stormtrooper spray paint in, like, the upper left-hand corner. So I was kind of thinking that. Star Wars Hunters. Okay. It's coming this year. Star Wars Hunters is a competitive free-to-play online game set between... <clears throat> cough, cough, free-to-play. Sorry. In this third -person shooter Skins. Battle passes, whatever, you know? Do I look at you or the camera? Knockout City interviews. Ooh, what? We all play for different reasons. <clears throat> Gorgon love that. Gorgon use many weapons. Triple bladed war axe, spear of misery. Pain. Isn't this guy from like World of Warcraft? A princess is supposed to lead her people, not be. I have no idea who this is at all. For a hero. My line of work. Bullets are constantly whizzing past you. Flaming longsword, blade of doom. Just once. Just this man just. I'd like to catch one of them bullets. This yeah. guy's talking about bullets. With this crown, I'm gonna lead my team to victory and kick some serious ass. Wait! Whoa! That's a cartoon character, right? And okay, this looks it. Dodgeball Battle Royale is something we didn't need. That's what this looks like. Let's find out what sound your face makes. 
What? <laughs> Let's find out what sound your face makes. Okay. Uh. Really? That's actually kind of cool. You can throw like dodgeballs and then become a dodgeball. That's pretty cool. That's what it looks like. Now, I heard I heard about a game that um what is it? I heard about something that was like similar to Ninjala. It does look similar to Ninjala for sure, but it looks like dodgeball more than like that, you know, which makes sense, but in a way. Disoriented and trapped in an underwater theme park, the twelve of you, known as the Go Getters Club, must now survive. The Go Getters Club. They they could not have been more bland with that. They could not have been more bland with that. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna lie. The Go Getters Club. Perfect. Perfect. The game is suddenly called off. You escape the theme park and get a glimpse of Japan, but everyone's vanished. Set off on a captivating journey across the country that blends side Dude, how does literally every person in Japan vanish? As you make your way back home to Tokyo, you'll alternate between working solo and teaming up with the group to overcome challenges and monsters that stand in your way. What awaits you all at the end of your journey? The battle for survival. In way, that's one <laughs> That's one dang long bike. Yeesh. May 28th. This isn't too far away actually. May 28th. Okay, so it's just Hades getting released again, which I'm pretty sure most of us already know about Hades. I'm sure a lot of so like a lot of you guys have played this game. I actually personally haven't played the game. The only reason I haven't played the game either is just simply because I didn't have the money at the time, so. The second is a 32-page full-color character compendium featuring portraits of the game's vibrant cast of gods, ghosts, and monsters, all by Supergiant's art director, That's Gen Z. Interesting, and actually. Let's not forget the Je game itself, offering dozens of hours of We're not gonna talk about that. action paired with a compelling story. Escape the underworld again, or for the first time, with the physical version of Hades on March 19th. Make sure my volume is good. Three deadly action games, one masterful collection. Ninja Gaiden Sigma. Oh, nice. Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2. That looks cool. And Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge. All right. Coming to Nintendo Switch as the action packed Ninja No, I can tell this is these are remakes. Yeah, I can tell these are remakes. These are remasters or remakes. Either one. You are the legendary ninja Ryu Hayabusa, fighting against a great evil with battle skills that are second to none. Wield an arsenal of killer weapons, each offering a playstyle with different sets. Ooh, that looks nice. Along with ruthless ninjutsu to swiftly take down enemies. This looks like it's gonna be a really fun game. Quickly gauge your opponent's movements while unleashing fast and frenzied combos. Okay. And team up with other super ninjas in your quest to fulfill your destiny. Nice. All previous nice. content, including costumes and game modes, are included. <laughs> Revel in the intensity of Ninja Gaiden in one dynamic collection. Ninja Gaiden Master Collection slices its way onto Nintendo June 10th? Switch, summer 2021. Nice, nice. Okay. There's a lot of stuff coming out of May, June. More battles are coming to Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. I think some July too. Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Not surprised that this one's making the list of something. I have no idea what this is supposed to be. DLC? Probably DLC. I actually have played this game. Of course. Like I've said before, like I've played a lot of Zelda games, but I just have not that many on my own Switch. Expansion Pass. Oh my... Really? 
Nintendo, you're killing me here. You're killing me with the expansion passes now. Coming to Nintendo Switch. Bravely Default 2 is almost here. Oh wow, that's like in a couple weeks. February 26th? Yeah, that's really soon. I hope it doesn't get like delayed last second. Veterans and newcomers to the series can enjoy this brand new story on February 26th. This looks nice, but I'm probably not going to play it. It's <laughs> so much stuff I'm probably not going to play, but it, like, it looks really cool. But there's a lot of stuff I'm probably am gonna, I probably am going to play. Uh, I don't know if I want to say no to this or yes to this. I'm really unsure about this. Arthur in his quest with one of three supporting characters. Barry for defense, Carry for transportation, or Archie for bridges. Ghosts and Goblins Resurrection launches February 25th. Pre-orders are available now. Pre-orders are available now, of course, of course. As always, now, at least nowadays, you know. Eight captivating journeys. Saga Frontier has been remastered for Nintendo Switch. Did they say eight protagonists, eight, in eight, you know, like storylines or whatever? That kind of sounds like Octopath Traveler, once again. New gameplay features, exhilarating battles, and a new scenario for the protagonist, Ocellus. It doesn't look too bad. But I, the quality doesn't look too bad, but... It's, it's kind of here and there. Apex Legends. I am planning on playing this on my channel at least once as well. Hope you guys are looking forward to that. This and Fall Guys are games that I'll for sure be playing at some point in time. Probably once they release. Fight for fortune, fame, and glory when Apex Legends enters the fray March 9th. Yeah. All right. How's it going so far? It's going great, man. A little bit more this is cool. In today's Nintendo Direct. All right. So we hope you'll stick with us. Yeah. Next. A little bit more. Ah, oh, yeesh, 42 minutes. I hope I have enough storage right now. Hello there. Ooh. I'm AG Alnuma. Legend of Zelda Legend stuff. Of Zelda. This has to be Zelda stuff. I'm sure a lot of you saw me and thought there might be news about the sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild game. Ooh, yes. We don't have anything to share right now. Oh, uh, okay, okay. We apologize. Uh, I'm trying not to cry. <laughs> and we should be able to bring you some new information this year. I'm actually trying not to cry about that. Now, we'll have to ask you to wait just a bit longer. Okay. While you're all waiting, however, this Legend of Zelda game will be coming to Nintendo Switch. Yes. Please take a look. Wind Waker. Skyward Sword, Twilight Princess, and yeah, but Skyward Sword. I was just naming them off because, like, you know, why not? I'm not surprised this one's coming to Switch, though. The Switch and the Wii are so similar to each other that this coming out on the Switch makes the most sense. This one makes the most sense. Way too many people thought it'd be, I mean, maybe we will get, like, some 35th anniversary thing, and, like, next will be Wind Waker on Switch, and then next will be, uh, something else on Switch, you know? But I bet you it's just gonna be Skyward Sword. What you've just seen is The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. HD, yeah. This game originally released in 2011 on the Wii console. Man, I haven't even, dude, it's been, it's been 10 years, it's been 10 years. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword featured a You guys don't know. Unless you played the game, you really don't know. Sword ...and the nunchuck controller as a shield. With the increased processing power of the Nintendo Switch system, the controls here are smoother and even more intuitive. And okay. And recreated the controls for the sword and the shield here by having the player hold two Joy-Con controllers. Which makes sense. The Joy-Con controller in your right hand is the sword. Swing it to have Link swing his sword in the game. That makes sense. The Joy-Con controller in your left hand is the shield. By lifting the controller, you can raise the shield to block enemy attacks. Makes sense. I'm not sure how much I'll use that. It's like using both controllers to wield a bow and arrow. These physical movements add a sense of urgency and tension to combat. 
but we've also made it possible to play the game with button controls to ensure it can be played in handheld mode or on the Nintendo Switch Lite system. Thank After God. After over how to assign different gameplay elements to different buttons, we decided to apply the sword motions to tilting the right control stick. Uh, okay, I guess. If you want to do that. Tilt the stick down when you want to swing the sword downward. Ooh, nice. That was clean. To the left. Okay. I like these clean slices, bro. Here's something else we've been working on. Specially designed Joy-Con controllers. Yes. The right Joy-Con controller. All right. That's actually really fire. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword as the game. I'm probably not going to buy those Joy-Cons, but they're really fire. <laughs> I got to be honest about it, okay? We hope that people who played the original game on Wii and those playing it for the first time will enjoy discovering the origins of The Legend of Zelda. Yep, yep. This is going to be good. I remember this game. Skyward Sword HD launches July 16th. Oh, that's a while away. That's actually that's. I'm actually glad this one's a while away, simply because I can actually have time to get money for it. You know, so I can actually be able to buy it. Many of you may already know this, but The Legend of Zelda: Skyward Sword was the last original console game prior to The Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild game. Yep. It was still following the established conventions of The Legend of Zelda. However, yep. it gave a glimpse into many features and innovations that would eventually be adopted in The Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild. Yep. Using the sailcloth to descend in midair, a stamina gauge that depleted as you scaled walls with vines. Yeah, 